It is my pleasure that with more than 100, 100 distinguished former world leaders, we have signed the joint letter on Iran. In recent days, the regime in Iran has sharply increased the number of executions. There have been more than 100 executions in just in the past three weeks. Since September 2022, the world has witnessed a sweeping popular uprising in Iran demanding freedom and democracy. Reports suggest that some 750 protesters have been killed and 30,000 arrested. While any change should come from the people of Iran, the international community has a responsibility to support their human rights. Decades of apparent silence and inaction by the international community have helped fuel a culture of impunity in Iran. Since the 1980s, the authorities in Iran have executed tens of thousands of protesters and political prisoners. Tragically, in the summer of 1988 alone, over 30,000 political prisoners were brutally massacred. We believe it is time to hold the leadership of the Islamic Republic of, I of Iran to account for its crimes. We urge the international community to stand with the Iranian people in their quest for change. Let's take incisive steps against the current regime. This includes blacklisting the erosionary guards and holding regime officials accountable for their crimes against humanity. All world leaders should stand in solidarity with the people of Iran in their desire for a secular and democratic republic where no individual, regardless of religion or birthright, has any privilege over others. Through their slogans, the Iranian people have made it clear that they reject all forms of dictatorship. For four decades, the Democratic Coalition National Council of Resistance of Iran has constantly and tirelessly pursued democratic change. This is why we firmly support the 10-point plan articulated by the National Council President, Mrs. Mariam Rajar. The plan makes commitment to free elections freedom of assembly and expression, abolition of the death penalty, gender equality, separation of religion and state, autonomy for Iran's ethnicities and a non-nuclear Iran, which is very important. Thank you very much.